Hi all, welcome to another refurbishment video. Now I believe I've done a video on this machine or similar model before. It's the HP Elite 8300. So it's the standard wedge shape machine. Um, the specification is it's got an i7-3770 CPU which was released back in 2012. It's got 16 gigs of 600 megahertz RAM two sticks of 8 gigs so it runs a dual channel got an SSD and a, H and a hard drive installed and the graphics card is pretty low powered really it's an AMD Fire Pro 4100 2 gig but to keep within budget it's the only card that uh, will go into that machine so looking at the front it's got a DVD CD rewriter drive it's got the uh, usual headphone microphone sockets that's the power switch it's got USB 2 ports, so I'll just move on round the back. So looking at the back from left to right, that's the expansion slots there, that's the graphics card. Now this card didn't have a uh, back plate so it's just left open there. It's quite an unusual card actually, it's got four mini display port uh, connections so I've got a display port mini to full size adapter and that's uh, a wireless card I've fitted and it's got uh, USB 3 and USB 2 ports and that's the vent for the power supply now as with all these wedge shaped office machines it's really easy to get inside you just pull that lever up and lift the flap away to see the internals a good thing about these machines as well is there's not much you need to do with a screwdriver you just pull these green labeled tabs up and components come out so I gave gave everything a clean inside and that's the graphics card there so what I'll do is I'll start this machine up and uh, run a few benchmarks just to see what it can do So I've run the two graphical benchmarks, Heaven and Valley. The first set of figures for Heaven without Bandicam recording, we're getting a score of 907. And with Bandicam recording, we're getting a score of 836. And on Valley, without Bandicam recording, we get a score of 1126. And with Bandicam recording, we get a score of 1056. So what that translates to is for Valley, uh, sorry, for Heaven, it's a downshift of about 15% with Bandicam recording. With Valley, it's a bit better, about 7% downshift. So you'd probably take the average of the two and apply that in a lot, if not all, of the uh, gaming benchmarks, as I'll be using Bandicam rather than an external camera. Um, to make these figures a bit more interesting I've set the low quality preset on both heaven and valley and disabled any other settings like tessellation right so let's load up some games and see what this machine can do up first we have crisis so I've got the resolution on 1600 by 900 and the quality settings set to medium and we're getting a pretty at the moment pretty steady mid 50s nudging 60 frames per second so i'll just get a few characters on the screen so i suppose there's quite a lot of headroom to get that resolution up and maybe change some of the quality as well depending what your preference is but on this size monitor as i keep saying 1600 by 900 medium looks just fine to me um, with a lot of action, it keeps above 50, occasionally dips down to late 40s. But uh, at the moment, in crisis, this machine performs very well. On to FIFA 2018. Now, I've taken the medium quality preset, and it's pretty solid late 50s, 60s. During the cut scenes, the frame rate goes down to about 30, but that's not too much of a problem as long as the in-game 
play is decent enough and I think without Bandicam recording you're pretty solid at 60 frames per second now this machine may even play the uh, later FIFA games at respectable frame rates so feel free to try those as well okay so that's FIFA 2018 on to Fortnite now I've got this on a cap of 30 frames per second because I wasn't sure if there was going to be any stuttering so it's always best practice to cap that frame rate if you do get stuttering and it's pretty rock solid at 30 at the moment with no other characters on the screen just driving around a bit I've got all the quality settings set to low and any flags set to off which is again best thing to do and then work your way up if you think this machine can perform a bit better with those settings up a touch I haven't got the resolution on the lowest though so I think looking at it as it stands you've got a uh, bit of headroom I think to uh, change those settings but it looks all right to me on this sort of monitor there's no other characters on the screen though so be prepared for frame drops once there's a firefight going on okay so that's Fortnite on to racing game Forza Horizon 4 so what I'm going to do in the in-game settings is set everything to low and any off on off flag switch those switch those off and I'm going to cap the frame rate to 30 and what I'll do is I'll run the in-game benchmark and see what results we get so I've run the Forza Horizon 4 benchmark and we set a target of 30 frames per second and we achieved 27 so it is playable but looking at the in the center part of the screen it looks like that uh, graphics card is the uh, is the taking the performance hit unfortunately on this system and um, video memory is getting close to be exceeded so I suppose you, if you you can try it but uh, cap that frame rate at 30 and set everything to low or the on off flags sorry and the on off flags to off if you want uh, to play this game definitely won't play Forza Horizon 5 okay so that's Forza Horizon 4 okay so that's the HP Elite 8300 so I think after one of those benchmarks that graphics card is really holding this machine back but as I said before to keep within budget it was the only card that uh, would fit this specification but uh, something like low profile 1050 Ti or even a 1650 may do a better well almost certainly do a better job so if you've got any queries on this machine or any benchmarks you'd like me to report back on just let me know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to, subs to uh, subscribe.